Massachusetts and there's another place that was really hot yesterday I hope that you know you're doing well and indeed I hope that everybody else in the city or in, in your in your area has ways in which they can some sports that have been created hopefully that they can go and cool off or indeed are able to do that at home thank you so much for you being here for to you for being here with us today on story time appreciations all around thank you indeed for joining in and uh, please as always let us know where you are and who is joining in with you so indeed we can say hi to you it is a lovely day out here lovely wednesday out here in oakland i know that for those in the bay area please please bet it i know that there's um the heat wave coming and um so just 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 be prepared for that just be aware know uh what's coming and as we go into the holiday into the holiday weekend um i know monday is the holiday as we go into that holiday weekend please be sure that what whatever plans you have of being outside make sure that you're taking care of yourselves and one point that i heard yesterday being mentioned too was please make sure that we're taking care of our our, our pets our animals as well because sometimes we may forget to do that while we're busy um, taking care of ourselves. So let's make sure too that we're making sure we put out water that is needed and making sure too that our animals are staying out of the heat. And please do not leave your animals in the cars. Please, please, please do not do that. And um, be sure, if you, even if it's a minute, like make sure all the windows are rolled down and somebody is there too, because um, it is, um, we know that car temperatures can rise pretty rapidly. Thank you so much for joining in Story Time. Glad we're here together. Another story is here. This week we've looked at amazing books we've had um, because of an acorn. And of course, yesterday we were with the road crew. Yes, they came through and we had fun with them. But today, get ready, get your rain jackets, get your boots. We're going hiking in the rainforest. Yes, over and under the rainforest. This one written by the amazing duo Kate Messner and Christopher Silas Neal. And we're reading this one with permission of Critical Books of San Francisco. In fact, the latest in this series is out. Uh, it should be coming out very, very shortly. Um, and this one will be called Over and Under the Waves. It's coming out. I have not even seen it myself, so I'm excited. I can't wait to get that one from Critical Books. And um, yeah, you know, there's many others that have come in this series, including Over and Under the Canyon, Over and Under the Pond, and so many more. So if you go to your library or when you go, let's say when you go to the library, be sure to request these books and get to enjoy them at home. But today we do have this one to enjoy together. Over and Under the Rainforest. This one coming to you from uh, Christopher Silas Neal and Kate Messner. And of course, um, Chronicle Books of San Francisco. Thank you so much for being here. 
I'm excited to read this one with you. I'm glad that we're here together to enjoy a wonderful story. Thank you indeed for being here. Absolutely appreciate these times together. How are you? How is it where you are? Thank you for being here. Let us see who is with us this morning. Ready to enjoy a wonderful story indeed. Good morning to you. How are you doing? How are you today, Sarah and Nathan in sunny Illinois? Well, enjoy it. Thank you so much for being here on Storytime. Absolutely appreciate you. And good morning to you, Amanda West, as well. Hugs to you. Thank you so much for joining in Storytime. Absolutely appreciate you. Thank you for being here. Enjoy the lovely times out in uh, Illinois. Thank you. Thank you indeed for being here. And I hope that you do enjoy this lovely story that we have today together. Thank you so much for joining in. Yes. Good to hear. Good to hear. Cool and sunny today out in Massachusetts. Hello from Marietta. Thank you so much for joining in, cheering in from the horse stables. Oh, that sounds amazing. Please enjoy your rides. Enjoy your time there. Sounds like such an amazing place to be this morning. Thank you. Thank you. And you say, hope everyone is well. Indeed. Indeed. Hope everyone out there is well. Indeed. Thank you so much for joining in. Sending you love right back at you, Marietta. Thank you for being here and enjoy those rides. Enjoy those uh, beautiful friends that you're with today. Thank you for being here. We love you. Thank you. Thank you. And of course, Henry as well, sending you love. Hopefully that the first day back at school is a good one. Thank you indeed for joining in story time. Good morning to you. Marietta joining us from Massachusetts. Thank you for being here. Good morning to you, Pamela Courtney. How are you doing today? Good morning, Braylon and Chad. Thank you so much for the recommendations. They are underway. We're looking into them. And so hopefully we'll be bringing them back to story time very, very shortly. Braylon is preparing French toast and scrambled eggs for breakfast. Oh, yum, 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 yum. Oh, my goodness. I need to. Pack my bags right now, pack my books, and head on over to Nakitosh, Louisiana today. Thank you so much for sharing. Braylon, enjoy, and everybody else enjoy. Yes, Chef Braylon in the house today. Thank you so much for joining in. Love it, love it. Yes, Gordon Ramsay um, has a competitor. You should watch out. Thank you so much for joining in story time. And of course, keep, finish up preparing those other uh, breakfast. It sounds delicious. And come and join us for this hike in the rainforest today with over and under the rainforest. This one coming to you from Kessner and Christopher Silas Neal. And of course, Critical Books of San Francisco. Get ready. Get comfortable. Get cozy as we get ready for our story. Indeed. Nakitosh, Louisiana, that sound cozy today. Scrambled eggs, French toast. Oh my goodness. And also in um, in um, Massachusetts, there's somebody in the stables. I'm telling you, people are coming in from the best places for story time today. Thank you so much for joining in. And it is sunny out in Illinois. Let us not forget that. Thank you so much for joining in. I think I'm the only one today that is in a place that is uh, a little too gray. Oakland a little too gray this morning, but uh, I think everything will push out soon and the sun should be coming out. Well, we know that there's a heat wave coming at some point. So, um, yeah, keeping an eye out for that. Thank you so much for joining in from all your beautiful places, all your amazing sounding places. And today we get ready for our story. Join me on the other side of this short break for our book for today. Thank you for being here. Absolutely appreciate it. And every one of you see you very, very shortly. Thank you for being here with us. <laughs> hey, this is Timothy Goodspeed of the Soapbox Salute. I'm the one who wrote Storytime's theme song. If you'd like to hear more of my protest folk music, you can check out the links below on Instagram or at my website. You are watching Storytime with Mr. LaMotta. Yes, indeed. And we're back. Over and under the rainforest. A big thank you indeed to you, Timothy Dixon, for a fair amazing theme song that we have, but also just for being an amazing friend. And also, if you want to check out Tim's folk protest music, check it out. Lots of good stuff in there, including one of my favorites, uh, Lullaby for the... Um, for the forgotten i really love that one and um there's so much more so much more including uh, uh anthem anthem for justice and so much so please um check out tim dixon um on uh, all the music platforms that you can find thank you so much for being here over and under the rainforest are you ready 
Yes, get comfortable, get cozy. We're about to get started with our story for today. And this one is called Over and Under the Rainforest. This one is written by Kate Messner and Christopher Silas Neal. As you know, many in this series have come before. And of course, the new one that is coming up, and hopefully we'll have it soon, I'm sorry, time here. It is called um, Over and Under the Wave. All right, here we go. <laughs> Over and Under the Rainforest, written by Kate Messner and art by Christopher Silas Neal. And we're reading this one with permission of the publishers, Chronicle Books of San Francisco. Enjoy. Into the rainforest we hike through slivers of sunlight and dripping wet leaves. If you've been to the rainforest, or just to the forest, I'm sure that sounds familiar. <laughs> yeah. Into the rainforest we hike through slivers of sunlight and dripping wet leaves. Oh, yes. Look at that. <laughs> Up in the trees, there's a symphony of sound chatters and chirps and a howling roar. What's up there? I whisper. Up in the trees? Tito asks. What's up there? What's in the forest? What do you think is up there? <sighs> up in the trees, there's a symphony of sound, chatters and chirps and a howling roar. What's up there? I whisper. Up in the trees, Tito asks. Yes, indeed. What is up there? <laughs> what is up there, indeed? Up in the trees is a hidden is a hidden world, a riot of monkeys and insects and birds. We are hiking under them now. Oh. <laughs> Yes, indeed. Up in the trees is a whole hidden world. A riot of monkeys and insects and birds. We are hiking under them now. <laughs> Down in the forest, I follow Tito along the trail while Agutis search the ground for fallen fruit. Follow along the trail, follow Tito on the trail. And look around, you might pick up some fruit on the ground. <laughs> oh. oh, and I missed one, I'm sorry about that. Up in the trees are pendulars, gurgle in low swinging nests. Toucans croak and bicker over breakfast. <laughs> Hope nobody is bickering over the French toast out in Nakitosh. <laughs> Up in the trees are a pandala is gurgle in low swinging nests. Toucans crock and bicker over breakfast. <laughs> Down in the forest, I follow Tito along the trail while Agati search the ground for fallen fruit. <laughs> Yes, indeed. <sighs> On the footbridge, we climb up, 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 and we keep going. Tito rests to catch his breath before we cross over the river below. <laughs> yes, feel free to catch your breath. I know, there's lots of fascinating things to see. Should we match on? All right. <laughs> On the footbridge, we climb up, 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 Tito rests to catch his breath before we cross over the river below. Up in the trees, long-nosed bats slip away the daylight, all in a row. <laughs> yes, indeed. Up in the trees, long-nosed bats slip away the daylight, all in a row. 
<laughs> oh, and down below, what's there? Well, down on the bank, sleepy crocodiles bask in the sun. <laughs> oh, my. I am so scared of crocodiles. Huh? <laughs> down on the bank, sleepy crocodiles bask in the sun. Oh, yes. <laughs> As we cross an emerald basilic, as we cross an emerald basilic races us to the other side, barely skimming the river's surface, Tito and I laugh at his fast, funny legs and wish we could walk on water too. Oh, yes, <laughs> that would be fun. <laughs> oh, yeah. We scramble over roots and rocks, climbing higher into the trees. A poison dart frog makes his way up the trunk with a tadpole on his back. Oh, wow. So many things to see. <laughs> Nature is so beautiful, isn't it? Our hanging bridge teeters and tips with every wobbly step. I keep a tight grip on the rail. We are eye to eye with capuchin monkeys. They hold on with arms and legs and tails, swinging through branches up here in the trees. <laughs> yes. Have you walked on a bridge like that before? Our oh, hanging bridge teeters and tips with every wobbly step. I keep a tight grip on the trail, on the rail. We are eye to eye with capuchin monkeys. They hold on with arms and legs and tails, swinging through branches up here in the trees. <laughs> My stomach grumbles and Tito reaches into his pack. We snack on the dried mangoes and pineapple while the monkeys feast on wild almonds. <laughs> yes, indeed. Wow. My stomach grumbles. And Tito reaches into his pack. We snack on the dried mangoes and pineapple while the monkeys feast on wild almonds. Way down below, Leaf cutter ants march in a line, carrying bits of leaves and petals back to their nest. A long-snouted anteater snuffers along, sniffing for a meal of his own. Oh, my goodness. We talked about the food chain yesterday, didn't we? And <laughs> there's evidence of that, too. Way down below, leaf cutter ants match in a line, carrying bits of leaves and petals back to their nest. But behold, a long-snouted anteater snuffers along, sniffing for a meal of his own. <laughs> yeah did you get your snack before the story started oh, i hope you did i hope your stomach is not grumbling <laughs> we snack on dried mangoes and pineapple while the monkeys feast on wild almonds oh that does sound delicious i want a snack right now but it can wait until i finish reading <laughs> The afternoon rain begins with a patter, a pitter soft drumming on the leaves up above. Soon it swells to a strong rushing pour and all oh, the world feels dripping and wet. Oh my, you've been caught up in those tropical rains. <laughs> you know how that may be. A blue morph or butterfly folds up her wings and tucks away on a tree trunk. High in the branches, a soggy mother sloth and her baby sleep, sleep through the storm. <laughs> oh, stunning. Yes, the afternoon rain begins with a patter. A patter soft drumming on the leaves up above. Soon it swells to a strong rushing paw, 
and all the world feels dripping and wet. And all the animals know what to do to survive that rain. <laughs> Deep in the forest, the rain lets up. A parrot snake races over the trail, long and slender and green. She's hunting frogs, Tito says, as the snake's skinny tail disappears in the leaves. Up in the trees, an eyelash palm pit viper hunts. Hunts too, curled around a branch, patient and silent and still. You see the viper right there? There's the, right there. Saw a lot of those in Costa Rica in the rainforest walking through. There was a ton of them. Deep in the rainforest, the rain lets up. A parrot snake races over the trail, long and slender and green. She's hunting frogs, Tito says, as the snake's skinny tail disappears in the leaves. Up in the trees, an eyelash palm pit viper hunts too, curled around a branch, patient and silent and still. Oh, yes. You need that skill, right? Patience and silence and stillness. <laughs> oh. High in the canopy, a very dark shadow clings to a branch. Tito lifts his hands to his mouth and sends a roar to the sky. The forest waits, quiet. What could it be? High in the canopy, a furry dark shadow clings to a branch. Tito lifts his hands to his mouth and sends a roar to the sky. You want to try that? <laughs> <laughs> the forest waits quiet. Then, rah, 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 comes the answer a thunder of howler monkeys up in the trees. <laughs> Thunder of howler monkeys up in the trees. They respond. Rawr, rawr. <laughs> oh. Their calls quiet down as the blue sky grows dark. Night falls fast in the forest. Our walk through the treetops is through. <laughs> At the base of the bridge, an old spider weaves her web, a golden tapestry that will catch moonlight and insects tonight. <laughs> Such a delicate and yet so effective trap. Their calls quiet down as the sky grows dark. Night falls Night falls fast in the forest. Our walk through the treetops is through. At the base of the bridge, an orb spider weaves her web, her web, a golden tapestry that will catch moonlight and insects tonight. Yes, dinner is coming. <laughs> There's a sudden sharp snap and I freeze in my tracks. A crack of a branch, a long, loud rustle, then quiet again. Maybe it's a jaguar walking to hunt. Night is her time for growling and prowling through the shadows of the rainforest floor. Oh, yes. Maybe it is a jaguar walking to hunt. Night is her time for growling and prowling through the shadows of the rainforest floor. Can you see? <laughs> yes, indeed. Can you see the jaguar? <laughs> I run to catch up with Tito as we cross the last bridge to home. 
Abuelita will have supper waiting. Aron's gone to boil chicken and spices with rice. The sky grows dark and the birds return to their, return to their nests. I spy a squirrel cuckoo, a woodpecker, a motmot flying home through the trees. Their songs fade away as a choir of insects and rain fills the dusk. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Yes, indeed. I run to catch up with Tito as we cross the last bridge to home. Abuelita will have supper waiting. Oh, doesn't it sound delicious? Arroz con de pollo. Chicken and spices with rice. The sky grows dark and birds return to their nests. I spy a squirrel cuckoo, a woodpecker, a motmot flying home through the trees. Their songs fade away as a choir of insects and rain fills the dusk. A night song of darkness and water and life over us, under us, and all around us. Isn't that true? A night song of darkness and water and life over us, under us, and all around us. <laughs> Yes, indeed. And that is the end of our story today. And you can read up on all the different animals that are found in this book, or at least some of them um, uh, that are mentioned in this book. Um, you can find out a little bit more information in the back. We won't go in that today, but I hope indeed that you can grab this book, find it where you find books, find it at your local library, and get to enjoy all the extra information at the back, including crocodiles and um, um Three, uh, the three toed slots and all the different ones. So get to enjoy it at home and I hope that you find it. And of course, look out for the brand new book coming from Kate Messner and Christopher Silas Neal. And that is called Over and Under the Wave. That is coming up very, very shortly. Thank you so much for joining in Storytime. I am glad that we were here together enjoying a wonderful story. Thank you for being here wherever you are. I encourage you to... Um, Come and join us again tomorrow for more story time. And of course, remember too, if you miss story time, you can always find story time at storytimewithmrlimada.com. Thank you so much for being here. Join me on the other side of this short break. <laughs> Hi, everyone. I'm Amanda with Amanda Weltman Photography. I'm a photographer and printmaker based in the Pacific Northwest. And I believe that your face deserves wall space. Enjoy today's story time with my favorite storyteller, Mr. Lamada. Thank you so much, Amanda. Indeed, those words say it all. Um, your beautiful face deserves war space. So reach out to Amanda and indeed get that photo shoot going. Thank you so much for joining in Storytime. This has been Storytime for today. Absolutely love it. I hope you enjoyed our hike in the rainforest. And of course, catch your breath. Enjoy that snack that you have. And of course, remember to, to check in on each other. Thank you so much for joining in Storytime. This week, we've looked at many great books. This one encouraging us to, there's so much life in the forest. There's so much. And we need to um, help preserve those forests, help protect our forests, help protect our animals. And um, I hope that as we continue to appreciate nature, like the book said on Monday, that we continue to do everything we can to ensure that our four-legged friends, all the other creatures that share this world with us, yes, there's life over us, life under us, and life all around us. We make sure that everyone is protected. Everyone enjoys and deserves life. Thank you so much for being here on Storytime with me. Please remember to join in again tomorrow. You thought the rainforest was rainy today? Well, wait up until you come for tomorrow's story because we are going to be saying hello, rain. And this one coming to you from Kaya McClare and Chris Turner. Actually, we have a brand new book from Kaya McClare that will be coming to Storytime in the next couple of weeks, probably next week. Um, so please stay tuned. But for now, we go back to one of Storytime's favorites, Hello Rain. So tomorrow, do not forget your umbrella. Keep those boots, keep those raincoats that you had in the rainforest today because we're coming back for more rain tomorrow. Thank you so much for joining in Storytime. I absolutely appreciate you and I hope that you do indeed have a lovely day, whatever you're doing, wherever you are, whether you're going back to school, 
And thinking about those people, especially that are going back to school, going back into lessons, you know, it can be hard to get back into the groove, but we are sending you love and indeed give yourself grace, give yourself time to adjust to the new schedule or to get back into your schedule. Everything will be okay. Thank you so much for being here on Storytime. I am so glad that you chose to start your day with us today here on Storytime. Let us see one more time who was with us enjoying that lovely, lovely story. Thank you for being here. Yes, indeed. Pamela Courtney, I hope you enjoyed the breakfast. Chef Braylon, thank you. Thank you indeed for making breakfast this morning. Appreciate you. Yum, indeed it is. And of course, Chad, good morning to you as well. Thank you so much for joining us on Storytime. Sheba Chanda, how are you doing out in Lusaka, Zambia? Thank you so much for joining in. Good to see you on Storytime. I hope that everything is okay. Sending love to Benjamin as well. Thank you so much for being here on Storytime. Absolutely appreciate you. Melissa Stewart is the absolute best love her over and under series. Well, thank you so much for joining in. Um, um, I absolutely appreciate you. Love Kate Messner as well. Well, thank you. Thank you indeed. Absolutely appreciate it. I need to check out more of Melissa Stewart. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I absolutely appreciate, always appreciate your insight, Pamela Courtney. Thank you. Thank you for being here with us on Storytime. Absolutely love it. Thank you indeed for being here too. Betty Graydon from out in Florida. Thank you so much for joining in and I am glad that you were here with us. Please don't forget to join us tomorrow when we are back for Hello Rain. This one coming to you from Kayo McClare and Chris Turnham. And of course, we'll be reading this one again with permission of Chronicle Books of San Francisco. Yes, coming back to story time after a while, but it is indeed a favorite of story time. Thank you for being here. Much love from me. Absolutely appreciate you. One more time. Thank you to you, Sarah and Nathan out in sunny Illinois. Enjoy it. Please enjoy the beautiful, beautiful Illinois today. And also oh, joining us from the cool and sunny Massachusetts today, from out in the stables to boot. Wow, thank you so much for joining in. Can it get any better than that? Thank you, Marietta, for joining us. And Henry, we hope that you are well where you are as well. Thank you so much for joining in. And of course, freshly smelling that fresh um, uh, French toast out in Nakitosh, Louisiana. We appreciate you all. Have a lovely day. Braylon, Chad. Auntie Pam and of course Auntie Anne, Auntie Kim, we're sending you love as well. Thank you so much for joining in Storytime. This has been Storytime. Hugs, hugs, hugs to each and every one of you. And of course, we are back again tomorrow for more story time. So please join me. Make a date. Be here 7 a.m. Pacific time. And of course, if you can't make it then, join us at 11 for the recording, 11 a.m. Pacific time. But also you can join us at your own convenience at Storytime with Mr. Limada on Facebook and YouTube, as well as at Storytime with Mr. Limada, um, dot com. Thank you so much for being here. Much love from me. I will see you again tomorrow for more story time. Please have yourselves a wonderful, wonderful Wonderful day and remember you are special you are beautiful you're wonderful you deserve everything good that comes your way and do not forget that thank you so much for joining in story time much love and i will see you again tomorrow for more story time bye bye <laughs>
story time. Story time with Mr. Lamada. He will be starting soon. Story time with Mr. Lamada. Where all your dreams come true. Oh, oh, oh. He brings to life your favorite stories with a great big smile. You won't leave lonely, won't you start? All the reading, we just can't wait to hear it. Brings to life your favorite stories with a great big smile. You won't leave lonely, won't you start? All the reading, we just can't wait to be hearing.